we're exploring the buzz around regional banks. Our Trackstar data indicates a significant increase in Financial Pro's searches for the three times leveraged regional bank ETF over the recent weeks. This uptick aligns with rumors suggesting the Fed might hold back on hiking interest rates. However, with DPST's net assets at $500 million and a 12-month trailing yield of 2.85%, there's more to consider. But we have to rank this ETF at a 3 out of 10. Now, the S&P Regional Bank's Select Industry Index that DPST tracks gives an equal weight to the regional banks in the S&P Total Market Index. And here's where DPST spices things up it offers exposure to triple the daily move of this index. But there's a catch. Leveraged ETFs like DPST can be tricky over time. They often use derivatives instead of holding the actual stocks in the index, incurring higher long-term costs. Thus, their true strength lies in short-term trading and hedging. In a five-year span, DPST witnessed a drastic 95.4% drop while its underlying index only slid by 17.1%. The lesson here? Leveraged plays might be riveting, but the risks are undeniable. For those looking at regional banks, perhaps it's wiser to focus on options like KRE or KBE.